name is Josh Jenkins. This is my FTT 114 week three assignment two. This is the Kydex uh, build out. So we're gonna actually be doing mold today. Uh, today is December 27th, 2023. All right, so now that we're at the bench here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of go over all the parts that we have <coughs> for, for this and kind of explain basically what we're gonna do. So before we do anything else, I wanna show that this weapon here is unloaded. This is going to be the weapon we're doing. Uh, so we're going to drop the magazine, make sure that the magazine is empty, and then we're going to lock the slide back. We're going to visual and physical inspection of the weapon, show that it's empty. That weapon is clear. We're going to point it in a safe direction, and we're going to point the trigger. Weapon's clear, weapon's out. So this is a Smith & Wesson SD9VE. This is my brother-in-law's. Uh, so we're going to set this aside here. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go over some of the parts and uh, bits that we're going to do. So for this, uh, we're going to block it off using, two, uh, you know, what they suggested, uh, you know, some tongue depressors or popsicle sticks. Uh, we've got our uh, various clamps and whatnot. Uh, and some painter tape, that's going to be important a little later, our clamps, obviously. Uh, and then we have the parts for making this. So uh, what we're going to do in this one is we're going to make this a left-handed uh, outside the waistband um, holster. So got that so we're going to be putting it uh, we're going to be putting the clip on this side not not this side but this side right here for our left-handed draw and then so, we'll be so when we're doing uh when we're going ahead and uh, setting this up what we're going to do is we have this right here for when we're blocking we're going to cut this this little bit out right here so we can seat this up in here to make this a little bit easier uh so we'll get this cut off here in a little bit uh but yeah what we'll do is we'll get reset here uh here's all the various punches we'll, we'll get reset uh, and we will um, uh, get to blocking off the handgun here. One of the things we will be using, uh, I've got safety glasses that go around, uh, so we'll be using those. I, t I typically wear these, these have some safety rating on them, but just for the sake of the, the show, or the show, the sake of this video, uh, we will go ahead and use these. So let's get reset and we'll go from there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Again, this weapon has been cleared uh, from uh, before. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to block this off and like the whole process and for blocking what you're what the objective here is to create enough uh, just enough tension against this is going to be a level one retention so it's basically just going to be the passive uh, tension that we get so we're going to tape this up and we're going to uh, put uh, our popsicle sticks uh, in little grooves in the crannies and whatnot we're also going to put it down here make a channel for this uh, for our slide release right here we're also make a channel up uh, here for our for our site so I've already kind of a uh, played with this a little bit to get me a good setup on that. So uh, we've got that right there. So that'll be how we channel that down. I've also went ahead and done some pre-measuring on this little bit of a uh, plexiglass here. Uh, what we're gonna do with this, this is gonna be, this essentially creates a negative. And with this negative, what we'll do is we'll, this part right here will be taped up underneath here and that'll give some additional support when we're doing the Kydex lay down. So, and then, uh, also, what we're going to do is we're going to get these uh, little bits right here. We're going to put these on our holster here. Show you right that. That's going to create a space. Uh, we'll get this as level as we can, but that's going to create a space where we can put our uh, can put our uh, what do you call it? our uh, our clip that'll go over the waistband, and this will create some dimpling in there, and it'll be a great place to set the. Uh, it, it, it'll it'll be a great place to screw stuff in, and you know create a. It'll also create little divots, so it'll all be kind of countersunk already. Uh, I saw this. Um, who was it? I saw Tradesman Firearms. He did this as well. I know I've quoted him a couple of my videos, but again, I'll quote him again. Put him somewhere here. But you know, he's been uh, some of his videos have had some pretty cool uh, ideas, and so I'm trying to copy those as best I can and replicate that because again, you know, it, it looks like it works. So we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, we'll speed all this up and if I need to stop, I will. All right, so I've got that side done. A little mess up, had to come back here, but let's go ahead and do, uh, uh, do the other side. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. We'll get the uh, we'll get this all blocked in as well. Uh, make a couple, of, I think we're just gonna make a kind of a small channel right here. I think that should be good. And then we'll go ahead and do the top here.
All right, so now I'm gonna cut this out, get it taped in, and uh, we will go from there. All right, now I got that cut out, we're gonna go ahead and get it taped up here. All right, got that set up and done. I think we're gonna be, we might come back and take that a little bit better, but I think that's gonna be the basic design of it right here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get everything heated up in the oven and um, we'll go from there. Okay, so now that we've got everything blocked up over there, what we're gonna do next is we're, I'm preheating this, getting this heated up, let's see. Yeah, it's getting warmed up. Got the face right there, so it's getting warmed up pretty good. So we're gonna let that heat up. Got my Kydex sheet right here. I'm gonna set it on top of this pan that came with it. This is just big enough, or this is just, this, this whole setup's just big enough. So we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna shove it in here uh, once it gets warmed up. I've got my heat gun over here, and we'll just keep a monitor on it. It says, let me just go through my book real quick says we need to warm it up for let's see in our book let's see so it says it needs to be between 350 and 380 we're trying to keep it under 400 because 400 is the melting point so we're going to leave it in there for let's see cooling heating it says two-sided 350 get it to about so basically we're just going to wait till it gets to about uh gets to about that 3 350 380 we're gonna pull it out we're gonna put it in our press over here which is back on the bench i've got some giant leather gloves that i just went and got from my old man so we'll uh we'll go from there so this is heating up i can start to smell when it's ready to go uh, i'll turn it back on all right so it looks like it's heating up pretty good so i'm gonna throw this in here it's about oops, sorry it says about that right there so i mean that's getting close so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and open this up to throw this in here to not burn itself. And we're just going to keep an eye on it for a few minutes. And we'll just keep a, uh, like I said, we'll keep the weather on it. So it's already heating up pretty good. So we'll, like I said, we'll keep an eye on it because this is going to happen fast. All right, all right, I've got that uh, all set up. Let's make sure we're still recording here. Let's get back and focus here. All right, we've got that set down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna time this for about, let this sit for about 10, 15 minutes. And then we will uh, go from there. Get this readjusted real quick, I think. Yeah, we should be fine. We'll get that. We'll get that and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. We're gonna take this off and we'll see what it looks like. That was a lot, of, I was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> it turned out pretty good. So, I mean, got some good definition here. I mean, we'll see how it looks here in a second, but uh, I mean, it's looking pretty good. It's still kind of hot, but you know, who'd have, who'd have thunk it, right? So that's nice up there. So yeah, we'll, uh, We'll get this uh, we'll get this uh, cleaned up here in a minute, and we'll go from there. 
All right, now that we got that done, what we're going to do is we're going to mark this off, uh, kind of what we, uh, we're going to mark this off with a Sharpie. Let's see, where's my we'll Sharpie? We're going to mark this off, kind of where we're going to cut it, there's my Sharpie. And once we mark it off, then we'll go ahead and cut it. So let's go from there. All right, so that's the basic outline right there for that side. Let's do this side. All right, so that's the basic design for that side. Maybe get on there. All right, so what we'll do is we'll get this uh, cut out real quick and we will go from there. All right, for this next part, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use our Dremel and we're gonna cut this out right here. But we're gonna also have Ear Pro and Eye Pro on just for this. Uh, and I've got my hat on just because I always wear my hat. So we'll get it reset, set it back down, and we'll go from there. Hey, buddy, why don't you step outside, okay? Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to shape this up a little bit, get it nice and cleaned up. Let's get back in focus and we'll go from there. All right, so got that done. This looks pretty good so far. Uh, that worked out really well, the dimpling and whatnot, for when I go to put the holster or the actual clip on there. So this fits in. It's got a fair amount of tension on it already, so don't need know if I'll need to uh, draw down on that much more. But uh, yeah, no, this worked out really good. I'm gonna clean up the edges a little bit more uh, using my buffing wheel that I have. But uh, uh, we'll go back over to the bench real quick, or go back over to the computer real quick, and go from there. All right, got everything done for this evening. Uh, <laughs> that was a that was a very in depth process. Uh, got a bunch of cool things done. Uh, learned a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, building the the press or building the mold with the press was pretty good. Um, you know, I think I heated it up just fine. It looked like I got some. Uh, I could have had some better definition, uh, but that goes back to perhaps the press not being as tight as it could have been. Um, <laughs> the big one of the big challenges I had was those. Uh, blade wheels keep breaking. Um, I need to do a little bit more practice uh, with using a Dremel and uh, grinding pads like that. Uh, I'm going to clean up the edges a little bit more. I'm going to use a buffing wheel, kind of just a big puffy wheel to uh, clean up the edges, make them a lot smoother, make it look a bit more professional. But uh, yeah, no, that was uh, a lot of fun. Uh, let me go, actually, let me go grab it. So yeah, this uh, looking great. Uh, this dimpling turned out exactly like I thought it was going to, so that's great. Uh, looks good. So this is going to be great from a left-handed, a left draw. So uh, really looking forward to getting this done and getting it over to my uh, brother-in-law. So uh, one of the last things we're going to do is we're going to flip this out uh, after we get uh, the clip on there. So uh, looking forward to next week's project. Thanks for watching.